What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and today I've got a Model Y here that we're gonna put in a yoke. This is the yoke from Handshow right here. I've worked with this company a lot and I really like them, but this is the yoke that mimics what the new Model S and Model X look like. And this one is in full Alcantara. Super, super nice quality. So nice to drive with this. Uh, you still have the controls here. You don't have to do anything with all this. You just have to hook things up, uh, disconnect the airbag. And speaking of airbag, I do have this airbag cover. This is an Alcantara airbag cover with the Tesla word on the front of it. Now, I'm not gonna install this, but I'm gonna give this to the guy because uh, I don't, you have to remove the airbag cover, the stock airbag cover, and put this one on there. And I've done that before in my other car, but uh, I don't wanna avoid the warranty of his airbag in his brand new car. This is his brand new car. This is a Model Y he just picked up. If you saw my last video, I actually took this vehicle home and wrapped it in this matte black. So I've actually put more miles on this car than he has. He's picking it up today and we're gonna install this and I'm setting up the cameras right now so we can so you can see how to install this I uh, got everything ready to go as far as what you need you need a 10 millimeter socket or t I'm sorry 10 millimeter allen key and then it comes with this screwdriver mine came with this screwdriver in that bag you can use a few things now I used this before the hole is kind of small in this one so I think I'm gonna use those, these two here and I'll show you how this mechanism works to pop this airbag out because right inside here you can see there's a lot going on but all it is is these are the springs for the horn the three pins for the airbag sit on this and as you push on here the horn will beep this is the connections for all the buttons uh, with the mechanism down in here for all that. The airbag plugs right into here. So we're not gonna be using that, but we're gonna be using this awesome steering wheel to get rid of the stock steering wheel. And you know, it's not bad. It really is not bad. The, the soft leather, the vegan or vinyl leather is uh, pretty nice, but without this top part, it opens as wide open and uh, very, very cool. So you'll see that steering wheel so where it would be comfortable actually that's pretty good right here as we're driving you just rest your hand here it's just really nice with the round wheel your ang your hands kind of angled up a little bit because you do need to keep your hands on the wheel but this is nice and soft it's so nice but this looks and feels amazing everything still works on here you can do uh you do voice commands obviously this will look so much better with the alcantara on here but of course brand new car uh, we have how many miles on this car? We have 50 miles on this car. We're not going to put the, we're not going to tear apart this. You can still drive just fine with the yoke. Uh, it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you have nothing in front of you, especially if you get the, the mount for this to drop this down, it's so nice. It's, you see so much more. Uh, it's a, it's actually a pleasure to drive. Hey, this is Valentino. Um, just uh, took possession of this car a couple days ago. Full two days of driving with a new yoke instead of a, a regular steering wheel. I enjoyed driving this. It was a little daunting trying to drive through a lot of traffic uh, in North Carolina to uh, Myrtle Beach, but for the most part, this worked pretty well. Um, wasn't uh, intimidated by its missing the top part of the car. Um, it's very, it, it follows me. It's great uh, maneuvering with this yoke. I can see why some people don't like it, but this is great for visual visualization. I can see through everything. I just want to thank Brian again and uh, I won Tesla for uh, doing my wrap and also working on installing this uh, cool yoke. And uh, hope to see you in uh, future videos. Thank you. Again, let me show you how this mechanism works to remove the airbag. Okay, so you grab your screwdriver. This is the one that came with it. And on the back of the steering wheel, you'll see there's a hole here and a hole right here. And that's where this is gonna go into. But you don't, you don't just push it in there. What it's gonna do is you're gonna push in on the side here and have it flat, but you see that bar? You're gonna be lifting that bar and moving it out of the way. 
see it coming out of the hole that pin is going to catch the pin in the airbag and that's what holds the airbag in place it's the only thing that holds the airbag in place really and once this is in there it has a lot of tension so it's not going to pop out or anything but all you're going to do is push it on both sides it releases the airbag and actually it springs forward because these are there's springs in here and then once both of them are popped it'll be loose there's enough room and you'll be able to pop these out of there and remove the airbag and then one bolt right in the center here that's what you'll need the 10 10 millimeter for and this whole thing comes off all right so you don't need much to do this uh, obviously i've got the wheel it goes right on here it's a little wider than the factory wheel it's not much actually maybe a quarter inch on either side where you're going to grab it uh, it's a little wider here uh, but that's the way the yoke is in the Model S and Model X. Every time I wrap a car, I have it in service mode here, and we're going to turn off the vehicle. So uh, you go to safety, scroll to the bottom, and power off. So what that's going to do is basically power off the autopilot computer. The car's still on. It's really not going to change much, but the car is still on. Take the screwdriver, put it in the hole, Pop this side, pop this side, and now the airbag is free. The yellow is the airbag, so we're going to just pop this out. So the airbag should not deploy because we're actually, the car is off and we're not even in drive. So this is the scary part of this. There we go. So it's really, if you can see that, it's those two clips right here. They get pushed in and then uh, it does come out now if you wanted to remove this you just slide this in here underneath here and pop this out on each one you probably want to get a bunch of screwdrivers to do that or some plastic to wedge in there and that's what i did i used some plastic uh, you will kind of destroy this a little bit but the new one just slaps right on there and it's really nice so we're gonna set this aside and then there is well actually before we take it off, there is another connection right here that we want to remove. It's hard to see for you guys, but it's the it's the purple one that was in there. That one came out super easy. It's it's this connection here that we're just unplugging. That stays with the steering wheel. Now we're going to take the 10 millimeter and kind of put our knee right here so we can get some leverage, maybe both. And squeeze it oh my god that's hard <laughs> we might have to get a bar or something oh my god all right this is a really short so i'm gonna get a bar here to get a little bit of leverage and uh just hold on i'm a little weak ah oh, unfortunately since we got out of the car the the thing came back on so we're gonna go back into service mode so every time you get out of it, once you power off the car, every time you get out of the seat here uh, or open a door, it will turn back on. So we're gonna put this bar here, kind of hold and get a little leverage. And there we go, a lot easier. So then we just, then we just unscrew. That is a giant bolt, super big, but this, just wiggles right out oh my gosh there we go wiggles right out and you can see this one has the holes right there that's where you're going to stick the screwdriver through and same thing on the inside of it Hanshaw uses a core of a steering wheel so this looks kind of funky this just drops right in it's keyed so it can't go in a weird angle drop that in place take the take the bolt Tighten that sucker down. Plug this one in. Now we're gonna take the airbag. And basically these, these little tabs here, go towards the center. Plug that in. There we go. It's all done. Horn beeps a little bit, but it's all installed. And that's all you have to do. 
So let's get this outside and take a look at it. I'll get you some beauty shots of it, adjust the height because now it's kind of low. Man, this feels so good. And so this Alcantara matches the Alcantara in the doors, the door uh, inserts there. And you know, it might be kind of nice. Uh, this is the white interior, but if he got an Alcantara cover for the, uh, for the white, that might look pretty cool. So 